guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Jen. Um, today I'm just going to be playing with makeup, trying out things. So I don't really know what to look to expect from this. Just playing with makeup, seeing how it goes. So just stay tuned and keep watching the video. Thanks guys! So I'm just going to try my new um, Urban Decay Quick Fix. It's just a hydro charged uh, complexion prep priming spray is what it says. So just spray that all over. It's got like two lids, so it's kind of difficult sometimes to open it up. But I just spray that all over, and I let that dry, of course. And I really like it because it smells like coconuts. Um, it actually does have coconut water in there, so that's cool. And then after I let that dry, I'm going to prime my face. I don't know what primer I'm going to use today. Um, I usually use this Wonder Skin Poreless Primer, so I might just keep using that today. Or I usually use my e.l.f. one, but I can't find that today, so I'll probably just use that. But, and then sometimes, I had a fan to like dry off my face when I'm spraying it with uh, priming spray or um, setting spray. But since I can't find it, I just use a palette. This is just a, a contour kit palette, so I just kind of fan that just to make it kind of quicker and then I'm going to just put some of my primer on my t-zone since this is poreless primer and I also put just a smidge on my eyelids and again that is Wonderskin poreless primer you can get that at shopmissay.com they actually have really good stuff. They're starting to sell clothing. I know, I think they have um, a deal going on. It's like 70% off or 75%, I'm not for sure. But you can go there. It's just shop and then miss, M-I-S-S-A dot com. And you can just find some stuff there for a good deal. It's very inexpensive. Like my primer, like that primer was a dollar. So that's always cool. And if you don't like it, I mean, it's only a dollar. It's better than spending like 20 bucks on some stuff like you can at like Ulta or Sephora. Just good for testing out products you're not sure if you like. Um, so after that is done, I'm going to do some, uh, do some uh, color correcting. Sorry. Um, because I'm, I have some redness around my chin and on my cheeks. I can't seem to find it, but... Um, what I usually do is use green for um, zits or redness, and then I use purple or red for dark circles. I have really dark circles right now. I have not been sleeping well, so please do not leave any mean comments about my dark circles right now. Um, so I have been using this uh, Total Truth Eye Cream. It has SPF in it. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name of it. I don't want to um, butcher it, but that's what it is. I got it at um, TJ Maxx for a good deal. But what you do is just put it underneath your eyes. And it's very hydrating as well, so I like that. And you just I kind of blend it out and tap it just underneath the eyes. Okay. And then after that, the setting powder or setting spray and the primer all set in, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. And what I've been using and trying out is Maybelline Fit Me. It is the matte and poreless uh, normal to oily foundation. And I really like it. Um, I think this is my winter shade. I think I could probably go up one more color for a winter shade, but I'm not for sure. I'm just trying it out, and I've actually really liked it. So I'm just shaking it, and I'm going to just dot. And my hands are clean, so no big deal. I'm just going to dot it around my... I do wish this was a pump, but... Or if I had um, a palette just like a glass palette 
I know Tati Westbrook, is that how you say your last name? I know she, uh, she actually has like a glass palette she pours her foundations on. And then finish it up with my forehead. And then I'll just use the excess down my neck. And if I need more, then I'll go for uh, a little bit more down my neck. Um, I have this beauty blender. It's actually called a Wonder Blender. It's also from uh, Shop Miss A. Here's the packaging. I just opened it. It's a new one because my other one's cleaned. So I went ahead and wet it. It's a damp one. And I believe this was also a dollar. It's, like, uh, it's latex free, it's a sponge, you can use it for primers, powders, creams, foundations, etc. Um, what I like to do is use this kind of like angle side just to blend out my foundation. And I also like to put foundation on my eyes just so it's like even skin tone everywhere. And I think this is a pretty good uh, coverage. I believe it's buildable because I've tried to build it before. I don't think it tells you like if it tries to be full coverage. Um, I'm not for sure. Mm. Mattifies and refines pores. It doesn't claim it's full coverage or anything. At least not that I know of. But I'm just gonna bounce that across my forehead and all around my face just to make sure I push it into the skin and blend it out evenly. Um, I really do like this foundation. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey when you do build it on. It's definitely wearable in the summer, so I really like that. So once the summer hits, I'm gonna have to find my summer shade. And right now I'm just gonna put some more on my sponge. I'm just kind of work that in the areas that I think I need a little bit more coverage. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I do think that this is what it claims. It is matte, and I like that because I do tend to get a little bit oily around my T-zones. Or my T-zone, I guess, one big T-zone. <laughs> but I like that it's also uh, poreless because um, I have pores right here that it's always hard to fill in with primers. And so I'm wanting to try out the Benefit one. So if you guys want to leave down in the comments any other poreless primers, like I really like the Miss A one, but I just want to try out other ones as well to see if they work a little bit better. And if they don't, you know, not a big deal. It doesn't hurt to try new products. But if you guys could leave in the comments what kind of primers you guys use and what you think about them, I'd really appreciate it. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Um, I tend to wear um, a lot of t-shirts, so I like to also go down my neck just to make sure everything is blended and covered, or covered, I was trying to say coverage and covered all at the same one. Um, but a lot of the makeup that I'm going to be using today is the makeup that I got for Christmas and for my birthday. Because my birthday is January 11th, so it's like two to three weeks right after Christmas. So I tend to get a lot of stuff in that time frame. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and dry. And then I'm going to do concealer. And I tend to switch a lot um, between concealers just to try them out. Um, I have this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, you can buy that at Walgreens. That's where I got it. Um, then I also use the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage 
concealer. I got this for Christmas. And I've actually really been liking this one. It's a little bit thicker than this. Um, and then I've been using the Instant Age Rewind for years. I've been using it since high school. So I do stand by it. I really do like it. And you can get this at Walmart or even, um, I think Walgreens has it too. I'm not for sure because I've only bought, uh, bought it at uh, Walmart. But these are the main three concealers that I've been using. I do like them. Um, I don't have any complaints uh, for days that I don't want to wear um, foundation. I tend to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous because it's not super thick. It's not too heavy. I just put it on and then I put some powder where I put it on. Um, I use the color medium. I do like it because it just blends in with my natural skin. Um, so today, since I do have such heavy bags and um, dark circles, I'm going to go ahead and use my Total Coverage Studio Pro right over my foundation. And the application, or the applicator is just like this. I have used it before, so that's why it's a little dirty. And so I just squeeze it out. And then I just dot it across there. And sometimes I dot it. Sometimes I try to blend it like this. Just kind of drag it out in the T zone like this. So it's a little easier to blend. I'm just trying out different things, different applications. Because I want to see which one works best for me. Which one I like. Um, I tend to blend it out like this. And then I'll go back and blend it with my Beauty Blender. And I go ahead and put this on my chin. Right there above my lip, down the bridge of my nose, and then I go ahead and just go right here. Okay, so I do like that because it's easier, and it is easy to clean, but sometimes I forget to clean it. I mean, I'm human, I'll be honest. Uh, so I just go with my beauty blender, and I go with the pointier side, and I just go underneath my eyes like this. And I take it all the way up to my eyelash line so it blends well. And I just also use the extra and kind of use it as a, another primer for my eyeshadow later on. And once this is all blended out, I will go ahead and set it with my powder. And I really do like this um, BH Cosmetic one because it blends really well. And it is a little thicker, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin, so that's really nice, it's breathable. So I'm also trying to make this like productive and teach you guys something or show you what I like to use, maybe for you guys to test it out on your own. I can also tell you guys a little bit about me. Right now I'm finishing up school. I'm taking a few more online classes and then I'm graduating in May. I will be getting a degree in computer information systems, which is like computer science, um, with a game technology concentration in computer science, and then a game design uh, minor. And what I want to do with that is make video games. I would really, I've always wanted to move to California um, to make video games. Some of you may know that if you already know me. Um, zombies is my thing. <laughs> or are my thing, I guess that's grammatically correct. So, just pause for a second on that conversation, but I will be using the Airspun uh, Loose Face Powder, the original formula. This is the Translucent Extra Coverage one. This is the one I, oh, sorry, that's upside down. This is what I use, and I believe this is like $5.99 at Walmart. And I just tap like this and let it tap into the, this is what it looks like. And some people um, use their beauty sponge, and they just go like this, and then they just tap that underneath their eyes. And you can also, what I recommend doing is putting some powder on your eyelids, if you put concealer or a primer on there, 
That way you can set the concealer and it doesn't move around when you try to put eyeshadow on. So what I like to do is just dab that into where I put my concealer. Just so it doesn't crease right away. Because, you know, sometimes it, your face, well, not sometimes, but your face moves throughout the day. So your face naturally is going to make creases. So this just helps it not crease throughout the day. And I just do that. Kind of tap it into the skin throughout my face because I do have wet foundation and concealer everywhere. Just, just so nothing moves throughout the day. Okay, so once that is done, I'll just go ahead and close it up. And then now I'm going to contour. And now I've been using different uh, items for contouring. And I do like cream contour if I want a little more of a chiseled look. But I do think that uh, cream contour is more difficult to use. Um, depending on what the formula is. If it's creamy, light, then it's easier to blend out. But if it's a thicker consistency, then I have a harder time blending it. So I like to use powder. Right now I'm using the Makeup Essentials Contour Kit and this is also from Miss A. And so sometimes I like to use multiple contour um, kits just to try them out, see how they layer, different definitions. Um, so this is what it looks like. So I don't really use those too much because I use my setting powder but I use this middle one here to contour my um, kind of like the three zone. I don't, I don't really know what you call that zone because you know you have the T zone, and, but I call it like the three. So I just put it right here. I have a mirror down here, so that's why you'll see me keep looking down. But I just kind of what you want. If you're not for sure where you should contour, you should take a brush and kind of feel where that indent is, and wherever that indent is on your face, where your cheekbone is right under, then that's what you should be contouring. So I like to contour, I like to start at the hairline and just kind of blend it. And I don't like to go past like my cheek right here. Sometimes it does happen, not a huge deal. You can fix that with some powder and blending, but I have a very round face. So I'm also still kind of learning how to contour my face different ways. What works best, what I like the most. And then I also go right here where the jaw is. Because your face is not one color. Your face has multiple colors, so you want to add that dimension in after you put your foundation on. And see, I kind of went too far. And the easy fix to do is just kind of blend back like this. And this is also one of my powder brushes, so it already has a little extra powder on, and kind of just go like that. So I'll just finish my chin and my neck, or I mean my jaw. And this is kind of like an angled brush that came with the kit, and I actually um, think that some people don't like the brush kits or the brushes that come in the kits but honestly I think it's the best way to test the product out first and then if you don't like it then you go from there but I think that this picks up enough um, enough product and it's small enough so I don't put too much contour like the line isn't too big just put a little bit more and then now I'm going to pull my hair back and then I go also back in the hairline and I go back here but this is a subtle contour so I'm also going to be trying another contour kit that I got for Christmas I'll show you guys here in a little bit and see how those layer so this is contoured I don't know if you can really see it and then this is not contoured Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. And 
like I said, make sure you get up in your hairline. I'm sure I'm not the only one that makes silly faces when I do contour. Or even uh, mascara. <laughs> Back to my story earlier. I always have wanted, or I've always wanted to go to California. And uh, work at a video game company. That's the dream. Um, I got this for Christmas. It's Quick Fix, or sorry, Quick Pro Portables. It has two piece on the go highlighter and contour palettes. I haven't opened this yet. I haven't even tried it. So you guys will be seeing me try it for the first time as well as I am. You guys are trying it for the first time with me, I guess. <laughs> like this. Um, it's called Sculpt. That's what the bronzing palette is. And it's very tiny. I mean, I already have small hands, but you can see how tiny that is. And let's see how we open this. Oh, it comes with a little um, mirror, too. There. That's what the palette looks like. I'm probably going to use the middle shade because this one looks a little too light for my skin tone. And then this one looks shimmery. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it has a little shimmer in it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a different brush. Let's see if I can get this out. Now, this is my, also a high def brush. It's from Shop Miss A as well. I got a brush kit. Um, I think there was 10 brushes for $10. And I got that also at Shop Miss A. Almost all my um, makeup stuff is from Shop Miss A. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, this is a little more red. Kind of like a brick tone. Okay. There's a little fallout, but that's also normal. So I'm going to go ahead and sculpt. Yeah, this one's a lot darker and more of a brick brown. But I like it. It's not muddy, which is good. Oh. Blending is always key, but I'm not perfect at it. I'm also, I wouldn't say I'm new to makeup because I love makeup and I do it. Um, I do makeup a lot on myself, not others, but I'm going to go ahead and use a clean brush when I'm done because this is a lot darker than I thought it would be, but that's okay. So this is a lot darker. I'm going to blend it with a different brush that doesn't have any product on it. I do like the color. It's just a little darker than I thought. If you do mess up, just clean off a brush and go ahead and just blend. But honestly, I kind of like how much darker it is on my cheeks. I don't really tend to go heavy on the contour, but today I'm kind of feeling it. Just play with makeup. You know, it's makeup, it washes off. If other people don't like it on your face, It's makeup that comes off at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face using the Aurora Anastasia. What it looks like for those of you who do not know. You can see that. Boom. Okay. NYC New York Color Browser Brush on Brow Kit. In the color Brunette been with me for a while so it's a little beaten up I don't really use the wax anymore I gotta just put the shadow on after I line it I don't have a liner anymore because it broke so I'm going to go ahead and just brush them on so I've been growing out my brows so I do have hairs that need to be plucked so don't mind them but I just use this brush it's a little dirty don't mind that but I just use the brush side and I just brush my hairs up and then I use the comb side. I do want to get the Anastasia um, brow dip or brow gel. Down in the comments what kind of brow stuff you guys use. And not perfect, but I do with what I have. And I will shop, be shopping for new brow stuff later. And once I have a new brow routine, I will go ahead and make a video for you guys and show you what my brow routine would be. Once I figure out what I like the best and get my eyeliner. Because I used, to, not eyeliner, but it's brow liner. 
and I used to line my brows a little bit more and to fill it in where I don't have that many hairs and sometimes I set it with brow gel and some days I'm like oh, I don't want to we're gonna go ahead and move to the eyes um what I have been using is um, my Carly Bible you see that this is uh, from BH Cosmetics. She's also a YouTuber. Um, she's pretty famous, actually, on YouTube. You go go ahead and check her out. It's C-A-R-L-I and then B-Y-B-E-L. It's Bible. Carly Bible. This is what the palette looks like inside. This is, I believe, her second palette. This is what it looks like. at the. So it's got the eyeshadows here, and then you have the highlighters down here. Her original palette was just the eyeshadows, but then she added the highlights. So I think I will be going back and forth with this one and then my new um, Naked Heat palette that I also got for Christmas. But I really like both of these palettes. I do recommend checking them out. Go ahead and check Carly Bible out. She probably won't ever see this video, but a girl can dream. <laughs> I do recommend getting her palette. I'm not for sure how much it was because I got it as a gift. I think my parents got it on sale though um, for Christmas. But here is what the Naked Palette heat looks like. I like this one more for my skin tone and my brown hair. So I will be going back and forth, like I said, to each palette. Um, videos will be getting better, I promise. I just didn't know what to kind of do. So... Um, like I said, check Carly Bible out on YouTube and, uh, like and subscribe and go ahead and support her because I do love her and I watch her videos often. Um, I do recommend her palettes because, um, they're also for beginners. It's buildable pigmentation, which is really good and it's, it's very creamy. Um, so a lot of people worry about fallout and I do not experience too much fallout. Um, the only fallout I see is basically in the pan because I... Um, I used to do my eyes first and then my face, but now that I've gotten her palette, I tend to do it backwards, face and then eyes. Okay, so this is just another brush from Wet n Wild. It's a little fluffy brush. And what I'm going to do is take this light shade right here and put it all over my lid. I'm just going to start up here, make sure it's kind of used as a highlight. Do you see the difference right there? So now that that is all over, I'm going to move up um, the next darkest shade and put that... Oh, sorry. I didn't wipe it off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this one and use that as a transition shade. So I'm just going to put that in the crease and kind of blend it and work it back and forth. And what's really good about this palette is it is good for all types of people. Makeup artists, very, very beginner stage of using makeup, really anything. So you can see that that added a little bit of color right there. I don't want it to be the prominent color I use in my eye look today, so I'm not going to go too heavy with the transition shade. Because I'm going to use multiple colors kind of as the shades since I'm using both palettes. Okay, so now that I have the transition shade picked out, I'm going to go ahead and put one all over my lid right here. Sorry, actually I'll show you better. So this is the first one I put all over my lid. This is the second one that I put all over where I put the transition. That's my transition shade right here. And then now I'll be using this one, and I'll just put that one on my lid, on just my eyelid, not all over. So I'll just kind of pat that in and then blend it. Do the same for the other side. This one, right here, I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here, the Brick Red, and I think it's in Fuego, yeah. So I'm going to just dip that in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it on the crease of my eye. I'm just going to focus it there. And I'm going to take He Devil from the Naked Palette, which is this one right here that I'm pointing to. So I'm going to take that a little bit. And I'm just going to 
fluff it into the crease. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just tap it there. I'm going to fluff it. Now I'm just making little circles like this. And focus on my lid. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take Heat Devil again, but with this brush, and put a little bit underneath my eyes. Just like that. What I want you guys to do while you're watching this video, go ahead and comment down below and tell me what your favorite eyeshadow palettes are to use. And then I'll check those out. And then I'm going to pick up uh, Scorched. That's a darker one, so I'm wanting to put the darker on first. I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. Scorched is this one right here. So like I said, I'm just going to concentrate that and put this on my lid. And the reason I put setting spray on is because it brings out the pigment into the shadow. Or from the shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. It's also a shimmer. And I already have spray setting spray on this so I'm going to pick up some of that and I'm just going to put it on top but this one right here if you can see it has some glitter in it it's a little lighter I'm going to go ahead and pick that up with my packer brush as well and I've been cleaning off my brush in between I'm just going to put that right in the middle right here this is the highlighter and I'm going to put that on my brow bone that right there and just blend it. Spray it. I'm gonna go back to the same color I just showed you guys and put it in the middle or in the inner eye. Corner. Corner. Right there. I use the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in black wait yeah onyx. Black onyx sorry couldn't read it there was it's kind of rubbed off yeah, Black Onyx. I don't know if you can see that. The CoverGirl one. Bottom of my eye. And then I smudge it out with a sponge. And smudge it out. And now I'm going to do my liner. And I've been using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen in black. Here's what it looks like. It's upside down. Yeah, sorry guys. There we go. Our lash line. And I kind of follow the curve up and just make a little line. Do the same on the other side. And then now, I'm going to go to the, from the tip of the line, and then just drag that down. And then just fill that in. Not too bad. So there's the liner. I'm going to do lashes today. Okay. So I'm going to be using the um, Clean Color, is that how you say it? Clean Color? Um, dark Adhesive for my eyelashes. That's also from Shop Miss A if you guys want to check it out. And then I'm going to use the Lashes for Days Pro Lash 5 Pack right here. And then I just, they are very lightweight. They're not heavy at all, which is always nice. I kind of have my lower lashes. I'm going to put it in the middle first, and then I like to use my fingers and kind of pull it down to the bottom where my eyelashes would be stopping, and then the corner I use this. I use the tweezers for the inner corner. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some lipstick setting spray, and I think I'll be done. Okay, I can't find my red liner, so it's Black Cherry Lip Liner Pencil, 
and it's also from Miss A. And I've already moisturized and highlighted my lips. They're a little dry. It is the winter time. I have been using a lip scrub, but they're still a little too dry for me. I'm just going to color them in a little bit. Normally I would use a red with a red, but I want it to be more of a darker red. So I'm using the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit. So yeah, Catsuit. Um, this is from Wet n Wild. It's cruelty free, which is always nice. Uh, matte Liquid Lipstick. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's always upside down. I'm so sorry, guys. That's what it looks like. Okay. Got a doe foot applicator. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start right with my lips. What do you guys think? A bold lip? Big lashes? Put some setting spray on. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Mate Magic Mist and Set. Just shake it up a little bit. Let that dry. You can see that highlight. Mm, the highlight on the brow bone. Those little lashes for days. Fun lip color. I think it turned out pretty good today when I didn't know what I was looking for. So here's the final look today. Don't mind my hair. Kind of just try to brush it straight. Um, so here. Here's the final look, guys. You see that highlight? I think it looked good. I think I think it looks great. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself with not knowing what to do and then just kind of going with the flow. It was a casual video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys, thank you. Please like and subscribe as well and leave some comments down below. Only positive ones, please and thank you. And just let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. Thank you guys.